Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a little demo on how to contour for different face shapes. I see all over Instagram, it's been several years now. We're still loving the contour, the stripes on the face and all that good stuff. But there is a certain reason we're contouring and that's to recede certain parts of our face and bring out other parts of our face with highlighting. So we're not supposed to be contouring the same exact way and you will see the difference um, and what I mean, so keep on watching. For example, me, I kind of have like a heart slash triangle shape, meaning I have a pretty wide forehead, but I have a pretty small chin. I have good bone structure back here, but they're not like out like Jennifer Aniston or um, Courtney Cox or Angelina Jolie who have really prominent jaw lines. I have more of a prominent chin than I do a jawline, so that gives the illusion of more of a heart shape or triangle shaped face. So when I'm contouring my face, I'm contouring more in the outer corners on this side and a little bit on my chin, but I don't go crazy in this area. I'm not trying to slim this area. So you're contouring all the areas that you want to kind of slim or hide, and then you highlight areas that you want to bring out. But you can also keep in mind that when you are contouring, the parts you're not contouring are already standing out. Highlight just brings them out even more. So today we're just gonna focus on contouring and maybe another day we'll focus on highlighting. So here I have the Hula Quickie Contour Stick. I love this, I love this shade for my skin tone. It's easy to blend. Creams generally are easier to blend than liquids. Um, and I'm gonna be doing a lot of talking, so I wanna make sure it doesn't dry up and have a hard time blending it out. So I'm going to show you how to contour on different face shapes to give your your particular face shape the best illusion of the normal shape. So, so when I say normal, the ideal shape is the oval shape. So if you have an oval face, that is the ideal shape, um, and that's generally the type of face we're trying to contour to get. So um, let's start with my face. I have a triangle slash heart shape. I see the same. I'd say it's the same thing because they both have the same shape, except um, heart is. Uh, a little bit, you know, you have the widow's peak and that will kind of create more of the heart shape. Uh, heart shape. I don't, I have more of a straighter, so then I'm, I'm more of the triangle. So what I'm gonna do is, I don't wanna get rid of my forehead. So the larger your forehead is, the more you can contour, the smaller your forehead is, make sure you're contouring very little. If you have a small forehead and you're contouring it, you're just getting rid of your for forehead completely. And that's gonna be the entire process for the face. So because I have a wider area here, I don't contour this area too much. We're gonna focus on contouring the outer corners, the chin, and then I'm slightly gonna blend it in this area only because I want to make sure I don't have just shadow in certain parts of my face. So we're gonna have make certain parts a little bit more prominent than the others. So I'm gonna just take the stick and draw the lines on to create more of the oval shape. So now what I'm gonna do is, I don't really have a round face, I don't really have a wide face. I do have a pretty small face though, so when I'm contouring, I'm trying to elongate my face a little bit. So the way you're gonna do that is contouring more vertically instead of horizontally. So anytime you're trying to make your face look longer, again, we're still drawing the lines in the areas that everyone does, but you wanna adjust it based on your face. And for me, I like contouring vertically to make my face look a little bit longer. Right there. So what I'm doing is kind of creating a little bit more of a structure in an elongated form, but I'm not doing it so drastically because I don't really have a round face and I'm not trying to make my face look super long, but I am trying to make it look a little bit more chiseled. So when it comes to my nose, I'm going to, I feel like a nose is a whole other contouring uh, video, but with the nose, you wanna do the same thing. You wanna contour areas you're kinda of trying to hide. So for me, I have a very thin bridge right over here, but then it gets kind of wide right at the tip. So when I'm contouring, I'm not darkening this area too much. I'm just darkening the outer corners of my nose at the bottom. That's it. So now I'm going to take a 
little blending brush. This is Luxie 181. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna start blending this out, but obviously you don't wanna leave this part white, you don't wanna leave this part white, so we're gonna sort of blend it into each other, but you want the prominent areas to be right here. So I'm just gonna take that brush. So we're gonna blend that out, and then whatever's left, I'm just gonna connect it right here. And if you want it more dramatic than this, then I would go with a darker shade, but I like to go a little bit more natural, and then you can always emphasize it with a powder contour as well. Sorry, I keep looking in the mirror and the camera, I just wanna make sure you guys are seeing what I'm seeing. All right, taking my brush, what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you're not blending it downwards. The lower you bring it down, that you're gonna bring your cheek down more too. So you wanna lift up your cheek by blending it up. And then we're going to connect it right in here. See that? Same thing on this side. You know what? I can actually even add a little bit more, but I'm going to stay subtle. Right along the chin. Okay, now I'm going to blend out my nose using the LCE4 brush and just focusing on the lower ends. Lifting up into the brow. So once you're done with everything, you can take a sponge and just kind of, the sponge you use to put on your foundation, and just press everything into place so that you don't have any like harsh lines anywhere. I don't because I didn't use a dramatic color and that's generally what I prefer with my clients and on myself. So if you have a wider nose, you can definitely take it from the bottom to the top as emphasized all the way through. If you have a very skinny nose, I wouldn't suggest even contouring your nose or you can lightly do it with some powder. Um, if you have a bump on the sides of your nose, make sure you don't go too dark in that area. Keep the contour really thin because the more you darken it, the more it's going to emphasize that. And then with the highlight, you can do the opposite areas of where you've contoured. Again, that'll be a different video and maybe we'll do a different like nose contouring video as well. Um, but this is what it would look like. Again, if you want a dramatic, I would go a little bit darker or even heavier with the stick. I'm gonna be doing certain so many layers that I don't want to go so heavy with my contour today. So the next shape we're going to do is the round shape. So when you have a round face, um, you want to slim it down on the slides a little bit. Um, that also means that you don't want to contour your forehead a little bit, you don't want to contour your chin because you're going to bring it down more. Again, we're trying to get the ideal shape. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your contour stick. We're gonna draw a line right over here, right over here, and then with the face, again, you wanna keep it vertical. And you're also gonna take it right in here because you want to slim down the face. You're also gonna do it across down your neck. I mean, you should always take it down your neck a little bit, but especially if you have a round face, you want to slim down this area. So then you're going to take your brush and again, blend this all into place. And what you can also do when you have a rounder face is bring down your contour a little bit more, even like right in here. And that's going to bring in that concave slimmed effect all the way down. If you only keep it on the outside, then it's still, again, gonna round up your face. I'm gonna add a little bit more on this side. Bringing it all the way down here. All right, so it's really tricky when I don't have a round face or a long face or a wide face or any of that stuff because it ends up like kind of not doing much for my face because it's changing the illusion, but 
not so much complimentary if that makes sense. So what you can do is if you do lose your highlight, what you can do is take your foundation and then you're gonna take your foundation brush and then just carve right underneath it. And that's gonna give you that chisel again. And then I'm gonna take this, uh, I'm gonna take the brush and then just blend that out again. Okay, so the wider your face is, meaning if, you're, if your face is round, it's gonna be wide. You wanna focus on slimming down the sides of your face and contouring vertically versus contouring horizontally. So now if you have a round, I mean, if you have a long face, you're gonna start focusing on contouring the top of your forehead and contouring the bottom of your forehead and try not to slim this part down too much because that's gonna slim up your face even more. So you wanna make sure you're focusing on the forehead and the chin. I'm gonna blend out my foundation real quick. Make sure we get rid of the contour. And layers on layers on layers now. Okay, so now we're going to move on to a long face. So if I was to have a long face, we're gonna start focusing on the entire forehead and the entire chin area. So notice I contoured more horizontally for this one instead of vertically because we want to um, round up the face a little bit. We don't want to make it look any longer. So again, you're just going to take your brush, blend this all out, and the bigger your forehead is, the more you can bring this down. And then we're not going to slim down this area or this area. All we're doing is lifting up the cheekbones to take away from its long effect. And that's going to give you the illusion of an oval face. So the next thing we're gonna do is the square or rectangle shaped face. It's kind of more or less the same thing. I identified it a little bit differently on, online sometimes, but really you're doing the same thing. Um, it's kind of like the heart shaped, triangle shaped I explained earlier. They're both a square, but obviously one's a little bit longer. So we're just gonna get rid of this contour. I have to wash my face after this. This is a whole lot of product. Okay, so next up we're gonna do uh, the square. So what you wanna focus is um, your hairline with this. So I have kind of a rounder hairline. I feel like if I pull it down, do you see it's a lot more square? It's very rare that I tie my hair back. It's all this baby hair <laughs> that like I need to tame down and I usually don't. Um, not because I don't like it, I like it. I just, it's just, it's just there. No matter how much I uh, tame it down, but anyway, when it does come down, it gives me like a rounder look. So, square face, meaning you don't look like SpongeBob SquarePants because no one actually looks like that, but you have a stronger, more prominent hairline that's a square, and you also have a strong bone structure like I mentioned earlier with Angelina Jolie and Courtney Cox. They have very, very strong jaw lines, and you'll notice people even contour with their hair. So if someone has a really long face, the last look they're gonna do, or should, or look they shouldn't do, is a very high pump and a slim, um, slimming to the sides of the hair. If you have someone with a really wide or round face, the last thing you're gonna do is like blow dry their hair really wide sideways, it's gonna make it look wider. So just like we do it with makeup, hairstyles do it with hair as well. So if you notice Jennifer Aniston and uh, all these people with really, really strong uh, bone structure down here and here, they normally have their hair to the face. So even when their hair is up, they still have like little hairs um, on their face to give the illusion of a uh, rounder look or, or a more oval look, sorry. So uh, what we're gonna do now is just contour the face how you would a square or a rectangle. Again, same thing, obviously when it's rectangle, you just wanna go down a little bit more here to make it look uh, shorter as far as the forehead goes and then maybe contour up a little bit more here to make it look shorter as far as the chin goes. So we're just gonna take that and um, here's our square and we're just really gonna go right in there 
and right in there. So the top part is kind of like how we did the triangle or the heart, right? Same sort of concept right here, um, except what you're trying to do is like only keep it in the outer corners and I'm not even gonna blend it over here. So with the round, I blend it here too so it all kind of mends together, but you have still a slimming on the sides of the forehead. With this one, you're just gonna keep it on the outer corners. Um, again, someone with a uh, square face, they may have actually a narrow face or longer face, so your cheek uh, contouring may be more or less in the directions that we went over a minute ago. So you're just going to take your contour stick and you're going to contour the heck out of the sides of your uh, jawline. And you don't have to make it square, you can just literally go right over it like this. And sometimes people like it, so if you like the shape of your face, you don't necessarily need to change it, but this is what contouring is all about. Um, so we're going to just take that. If I had a square face, I assume that it's going to be a little bit on the longer side, so we're just going to do a very natural based um, contour on the cheeks, just how our face is naturally shaped. Again, taking the brush, well, let me add a little bit more right here. All right, so we're gonna take the brush and start blending in this outer corner right here, right here. Don't focus too much on this area. You wanna keep that because that's gonna give you that oval shape. You're gonna contour the sides right there. And then you're just gonna blend up. Again, always make sure to blend up. I've contoured so many times that it's kind of becoming, I'm kind of losing some area. So I'm just going to fix it back up a little bit. Again, taking a flat brush, lifting this up right there. That's it. You see how it makes it a little bit more prominent? So if you want more prominent cheekbones, you can just highlight right underneath it and it'll make it pop. Otherwise, you want a soft blend to make it look natural. That's it. All right, just to finish off this look, because if you're contouring and highlighting, there's a lot of product there, you wanna definitely lock it in place. And um, you don't necessarily have to do this if you have super dry skin, um, but I'm somewhat oily. So what I like to do is instead of using a cream highlight, I will use my powder to highlight and lock in all the areas that I have not contoured. So right over here where I would normally put like a liquid highlight, I like to do it with powder because it again looks a lot more natural and when you're going to bring it all the way next to that contour right there I'm going to use the tip of the sponge to go down the nose so you're also going to set in the forehead see we haven't contoured this area so you want to set that in with a highlight again right along the sides of the nose And then we're gonna go on top of the cheekbones. And I am using the LC light to medium powder. And you can layer it if you want, it's super bright. All right, I like to highlight on top of the lip a little bit. And then I'll do a little bit on the chin. Again, I wanna highlight the ovalness of the face. And the more you want to highlight, the more you want to pack on the powder. But if you don't want to highlight too much, I wouldn't suggest doing all this. But notice how me doing the forehead, the nose is just to structure your nose. Right underneath the eye and this chin, it's brightening up the center of the face. It's giving more of that oval shape. That's what your powder is there for. Again, you can go in and brighten right underneath your cheekbone. But this is going to be more of a preference of how structured you want it. So this isn't something that has to be done. This is just something if you do have a really round face and you know you really want to structure your face, then you can go to this extent. And I feel like with powders, it's always more natural looking than creams anyway. So don't feel like you're doing too much. You're doing fine. All right, so what I'm gonna do next is take the LC powder in tan to dark. 
And I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush, this is a Dose of Colors Taper brush, and I'm just gonna use this to set in all the contours of my face. Areas we've contoured with the cream, we're going in with powder to lock this in place. You can go in there with a translucent powder as well, but just using slightly a darker powder will just emphasize it that much more and make it still look very natural. I'm just gonna take the brush and set in the sides of the nose to slim it down. So once I've done everything, I'm just gonna tap out my brush. Use that same fluffy brush to dust off all of the highlight. Normally the last thing I do is underneath my eyes because I want more prominent brightness underneath my eyes than I do underneath my cheeks. That's it. That looks so good. I hardly ever contour my face anymore, guys, because I never have time anymore. But when I do, I'm like, oh my god, it actually makes such an insane difference. All right, that's it guys. That is my full demo on how to contour on different faces. I know it's a little bit complicated, but just look in the mirror and just pay attention to your face. Do you have a large forehead or do you have a small forehead? Let's start from that. Do you have big cheeks or do you have small cheeks? Uh, let's start, or slim cheeks, let's start from that. Is your chin long or is it not? So the oval shape is what we're trying to achieve and you can do that by just contouring, which will shape your face or you can use your highlighting just to shape your face as well. Um, and again, just kind of pay attention and play around with your contours. You know, just use a contour stick, draw it out, see what looks good. Obviously, the more you bring down the cheeks, the more it slims it down. The higher end you keep it, it keeps it a little bit rounder. So it kind of depends on like the look you're going for as well. If you like a long face, then just focus on the opposite of everything I just said. Um, but this is how we would normally contour like a client's face um, if we were trying to achieve a certain look. So I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up um, and also comment and let me know if these are the type of your videos you want to see just very straightforward focused and like straight to the point um, if you like it let me know um, I'll see you guys next time don't forget to subscribe I'll see you guys next time.